Hey guys, it's Kiralis and welcome everybody to a new how to build. In today's video, we're going to be building a simple log cabin. And for those who've been watching this patient series on the channel, a couple of episodes ago, we had this amazing Swedish log cabin built by Hanuls. And I'm going to put a link in the description, by the way, or maybe annotation on the screen. So if you want to check that out, just click it and click and be all happy about it. But anyhow, behind the main house, he had this like little amazing tiny guest log cabins. And I did kind of say that we would build one of those in a let's build. So everybody, brace yourselves. Stuff is about to get down. I'm going to try to make this as simple as possible for you guys to follow, all right? So step one, open up Minecraft. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. You know what? I have been thinking. We don't really have much of a snow biome around here, so I think we're gonna just improvise in a later stage. But the first materials we're gonna be using is are, this are, doesn't matter, spruce wood, dark oak wood planks, and stairs. So, usually we clap up the first block, so just place the first block like this, clap and carry on. Jump away six blocks, and on the sixth one, place one more. So that should give us a five block gap in between. Add one here on this corner and one on this corner. Now we're just going to twist. This is going to be the front of the house or the back of the house, all right? Here on the side, we're going to jump away eight blocks in total. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And on the eighth one, we're just going to add those and kind of duplicate the same shape we just did there, all right? So one, two, three, four, five, six on the sixth one and bam. So from above, you should be having something looking like this. And then, no and then. Now it's time to decide where do we want the front of the house to be? Here or here? I'm gonna pick this side. So select your planks, put a full block here and one here. In between there, we're gonna have a door in a later stage, all right? Now, let's just fill in those gaps with your chosen material. I'm just gonna be using dark oak wood planks, but you can choose whatever you prefer, all right? So from above, you should be having this shape. Go back to Spruce Wooda. We're gonna rise up this pillar by five blocks in total, all right? So from the ground, one, two, three, four, and five. Same goes for this side. Same goes here on the back. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Counting with Keralis. The sides are just gonna be four blocks in total in height from the ground counting, all right? So four blocks here and four blocks on this side. Bam. So now we should be having something looking like this. Now, select the stairs. We're gonna start here on the front. Place one upside down against that pillar like this. Same goes for this side. Above that, no more stairs. Then, full block and full block. Let's do the same on those sides. So, upside down as the first row here. Like this. Normal stairs. And on the top, just full blocks like this. Here on the back is gonna be a little bit different because here on the back we're gonna have a window. So, upside down stairs all the way, no more stair here on this side, and one on this side. Then just cover that up with a full block on both sides, like that. So leave a free block gap in between. Then this side, basically the same, upside down, all the way to the end, normal ones, and then full blocks above that. So now we have something looking like this. And now we're gonna mix in a few extra materials. And the first one is quartz to quartz. So pick your quartz stairs and place three in total upside down here. Go back to your wood stairs and place a row upside down like that, five in total in between those pillars, all right? Above that, place one row of normal ones, five in total, okay? And in the middle here, just add a full block. So now the front looks something like this. The back is going to be a little bit different because we're going to have a window. So take your full blocks of quartz, place one, two, one, two, above that, upside down wood stair, in the middle, three upside down quartz stairs, and finish that off with an upside down wood stair, like this, like that. On top here, one, two, three, four, five normally placed wood stairs, and on top, as the same as the other side, a full block. So now the back looks like this. Now it's time to add a little doorway. Here, on the front, using coarse blocks, place a shape looking like this. An upside down U, or just place this, and it becomes an A. U for Uranus, A for Ass. Oh, no, I'm just kidding, there's kids watching Keralis. Above here, place a full block of glass, and just below here in the ground, a spruce wooda. The door of choice which we're gonna be using is maybe spruce wooda, why not? Bam, that's perfect. On the back window, just stick in two window penises and that's our front door 
and back window completed. This house is gonna be a little bit different. It's gonna have a double wall just to catch the cabin coziness, I guess. So grab Birchwood and place a perimeter going all the way here alongside the inner wall all the way here to the far end, okay? The side walls are gonna be four blocks in height in total. So it's kinda gonna meet up with the uh, without a wall like that. So it's gonna be pretty easy for you guys to follow along. Same goes for this side, and then just fill in this little middle space. Bam, bam, bam. Same goes for this side. So from the ground, four blocks in total, meet up with that wall, and then just close this off. Bam, 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 and bam. We're gonna make a little cut here for the window, right? So rise this up by two in total from the ground, and then just do this little shape. So, four blocks in total, and two here just to leave that little gap for the window. Perfect! Now comes the flooring. I'm gonna be using spruce wood and oak wood, as you can see here. We have spruce wood here. So let's just mark this out and see where this leads us. So, oak, 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 and oak. In between here, spruce wood, spruce wood, spruce wood. This is in the eye of the beholder. You can use exactly as you want and just pick the material of, you, of your choice. But I think this is gonna look pretty nice. So let's add this. And oak. So from above, you should be having this shape now. On the inside, I'm gonna delete those three blocks here, just in the middle. So one, two, and three. One block away from the window and three blocks away from the door. In the gap, close stone. Then cover that up with brown carpet. This is for lighting purposes, all right? Here, just above the window, I'm gonna add orange stained clay, which is gonna act like a little blind or whatnot, and maybe just stick in two white banners on each side, or one banner on each side, just for curtain purposes, all right? I don't know, might look pretty cool. Then, birchwood planks, just here on this edge, and then take it all the way here to this side. Let's do the same on this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and ten <laughs> i don't know if that was ten but you get my point all right one above just the same all the way across to this side same here bam and bam and then here one on top all the way to this side and that kind of closes off the ceiling we're also going to kind of fix this we're going to cover that in with birch wood do the same here and then we're just going to add birch wood slab here full block here do the same on this side so slab slab full block and then in between here just add one two three four and five birch wood slabs so that is basically the interior for now okay let's move on and continue on the outside the next part might be a little bit tricky so hopefully you guys can catch along okay so here in all the corners we're gonna rise this up using dark oak planks by five in total so one two three four and five same on the back one two three four and five and the last corner about here then using slabs we're going to create a little shape okay so i'm going to start here on the front i'm going to place a slab and then two slabs on the side and this is just basically to take this shape and kind of take it out all the way here so it kind of looks like those beams are going through somehow okay then put slabs here and two slabs as you can see this shape follows along this shape follows along do the same here so slabs and slabs. Can you see this shape? Perfecto El Mundo. And then just finish this off like that. So we have one, two, and three main beams using the slabs, kind of like going through the house. Can't fail it. Now let's just do, do this on this side and I'm gonna do the back off camera. So slab, full block. Bam, 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 and bam, bam. So those beams are just going through the whole house like this. Okay, so we got them on the front, we got them on the back. The next part will be a little bit of like this. Like, if you're building this alongside with me and you're pausing the video, you're building, you're pausing the video, watch the whole video, then go back and resume and whatnot. Because I'm gonna be using a lot of hay, and if you don't wanna waste a lot of hay, because I'm gonna be placing it and then I'm gonna be removing some in the later stage of the video. So, watch the video, then go back and resume your build and whatnot, okay? I'm gonna be placing, just on this block here, I'm gonna be placing a line of hay, going like sideways all the way to the other side and just meeting up with that. I'm gonna do the same on this side. So just put one here, bam, 
delete it and go sideways all the way here to the back okay there's gonna leave a little gaps which you can fill in if you hate bats for example because bats might spawn there but i'm just gonna leave them unfilled at the moment being then grab block of course and place one here against the uh, the hay and one here so one here and one out do the same on the back so one against the hay and one out same on this side one against the hay and one out in between here i'm going to be using stone bricks stairs upside down all the way across bam 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 and same on this side so stone brick stairs upside down all the way along bam and bam so now from above you should be having a little shape going like this now we're going to continue using the hay so let's just jump down here place two blocks here two blocks above one here on the top so two and two so from the front you should be having this shape we have two two one two two <laughs> choo -choo. and then take this out like this and then basically just follow this shape all the way until we reach the back part here. Just one block away from the course, right? And that's going to be done on all of them. So this is kind of like a boring process. And you can fill in the space with like waste materials if you hate bats. And <laughs> I do sure hate bats. Hopefully you guys find this as easy as possible. Um, just let me know what you think about this style of tutorial. And hopefully we can do a lot of them and if you do enjoy this find this useful just hit the like button that means the world to me and that kind of just shows me that you guys want to see more of this type of tutorials all right but as i said if you want to fill in the gaps here in between i'm not going to do them because i don't think bats spawn here in this world hopefully they don't they don't if they do well it's gonna be poo poo there we go perfect so now we have this shape and we have this shape from the front might be easier to see next thing we're gonna do is add a little definition using core slabs here in the roof so what we're gonna do is place a core slab here then one here on the top edge and then kind of full block one on the bottom edge and a full block one on the top edge and kind of full block one on the bottom edge and a full block one on the top edge and kind of full block so you kind of know the drill let's do the same on this side so one slab here one on the top edge and kind of full block one on the bottom edge and kind of full block <laughs> have i said that before i don't know but hopefully you can catch along this this is pretty easy just to get a little definition in the roof so now we have something looking like that from the front and let's do the same on the back so just for those who didn't catch it slab top edge and kind of full block bottom edge and kind of full block top edge and kind of full. i'm sorry i won't do it but i'm just gonna do this on camera just just for those all right so slab can I full block? I'm sorry, I can't help myself. Bam, 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 and bam. So then we got a little cool, nice definition here in the roof. Looking like that. Now let's add some detail on this bad boy. I'm gonna be using iron trapdoors, but if you don't have them, just use wooden ones. Depends on what version of Minecraft you are on, okay? So add one heel against that block, and then just add one perimeter all the way alongside this wall and one here on the front. Let's do the same on this side. So one against that, then you just take all the way here alongside this wall and finish off that with one on the front. Perfect. Next step is delete this block here like that. Place a little support thing going, place a hooper hopper. This is going to be like a little drainage pipe like that. Delete this block here and place a hooper hopper once more. Then using, for example, cobblestone wall, bam. Take this all the way down here like that and then just go all the way down to the hooper hopper so that is kind of like a little derpy drainage and let's do the same on the back here delete this one place a little support pillar for now place the hooper hopper like that delete this now and then just take it down the wall by the way hooper hopper here in the ground as well perfect and then just the wall bam 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 and bam so now we had it have added some little derpy detail on the outside and that kind of looks cool anyways i love it the next part won't really make any sense whatsoever but we're gonna do it anyhow so now using snow delete a few of those blocks here so for example we got three here and this is no logic there's no placement just place them where you think they look cool all right like this and just on the outside border here 
they can like kind of interloop on each other or whatnot. Delete one of those few here on the top, for example. Just to kind of make this a little snowy cabin set out in a snowy environment. Bam. Something looking like this on this side and do something similar on the other side. And as I said, this is no logic. You don't have to place them like I do here. Just make it look pretty and you're going to be all happy. But just delete the outer, outer one here, not this inner one, because that's kind of unnecessary. Bam, 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 bam. And bam. So now we have something looking like this. Next step is snow caps. Here on the outer one, I'm going to place this going all the way alongside. So we kind of cover up all the hay we got here. All right. Let's do the same on this. Go all the way here. And now just add little random snow caps uh, all over the place. And this is like, this is in the eye of the beholder. What you think is necessary, add them. If you hate them, don't add them. But since this is going to be kind of like a, a snow cabin, like a, I don't know what you're going to call it, a snow log cabin set out in a snowy environment, I think this kind of looks really cool. And especially as we're going to add some spruce aguda all over the place. And I think this is going to just be a pure win. Can't really place one on here without world edit, so that kind of sucks. Otherwise, that's going to look pretty cool. We could change that to a full block, but then it's not going to look as good as it looks now. So, let's do the same on this side. No logic whatsoever. Just place them where you think they look good. And that's going to be a pure win for you guys, alright? Bam, 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 bam. And the cool thing with snow caps that you can place layers, and that is something which I kind of, kind of wish you could do, for example, with carpets and whatnot, and other blocks. I mean, that's just that would be so amazing doing that. Perfect. Maybe some on this ledge here down as well, just so we get some definition, like the snow has been blowing and whatnot. Perfect. Might look a little bit derp, but in the long run, I think this is going to be pure epicness. So then we get the roof. We get a few detail here. Let's add some stuff on the inside. So let's make it cozy here on the inside. So first thing is first, using a cha, -cha wood, we're gonna place a little TV bench looking like that, a little remote control here, and maybe just a little flower pot with a fern in. In the window, we're gonna use a flower pot and maybe a blue orchid, because that's, that's my favorite flower in the game so far. Above that, using black stained window penises, a little flat screen TV, even though it's not, but you know my point, right? So that looks pretty decent. On this side, what we could do is place a little couch, for example, just, just something simple. Something looking like that, just here in the carpet, and for seating purposes, maybe using pop, 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 court slabs, for example. Bam, bam, and bam. So then we got a TV, get a little couch above here. What we could do on this edge is place a little bunk bed or whatnot, or just a hanging bed. So we got this here, I'm gonna place a little ladder going up to that. Just improvise, right? You can't really sleep on it. But if you're doing this in a survival scenario, just playing as a, a survival house, you wouldn't really add that. You would place a bed and a bunch of chests and whatnot. Core slabs as pillow, <laughs> you're gonna so slam your head in that, and that's awesome. And then as a blanket or duvet, maybe just some white carpet and whatnot. Bam, bam, and bam. So then we get the bed. We got a little couch down here. On this side, let's do some pretty stuff. Uh, a furnace, maybe a little few chests and whatnot. So bam, bam, and bam. Looks kind of cool. Above that, we could maybe add, let me see here, where are you? Can add Sprusa fence gate. So Sprusa fence gate. Oh, sorry. Boom. And uh oh, don't jump. Boom. Perfect, and that's gonna be a little shelving unit. Here on the side we can maybe have something, a tripwire hook, just to hang our clothes or whatnot. Could also add a button about here, which is gonna act as a little light switch or whatnot. Perfect. We need, uh, let me just see here, a crafting bench, for example, on this side. Don't really need much than this. This is pretty, pretty, pretty simple, and I think this looks kind of cool. This is like a little small guest log cabin, but it just looks beautiful. The thing which we are kind of lacking now, the inside is pretty much done. We don't really have any snow here. So I think you guys will have to enjoy some nice music, and I'm going to be doing this in a little speed up version, because that's going to take a little while. But hopefully you guys enjoy the inside. Very simple, but it looks so cozy. I would live here, for sure. All right. So let me just grab some materials, let's listen to some music, and I'm gonna be back as soon as that's done.
Shouldn't you be out delivering presents? Oh, shut up, little goat. Santa's getting funky. <laughs> And there we go! I think this looks absolutely glorious and I also hope you guys enjoy the music. If you did, there's a link in the description for the creator, so just go to his channel and say like, ah! No, don't do that, by the way, but just say hi. Hi from Kiralis or something, I don't know, do what you want. But it's a fantastic guy making music. So what do we got here? We got a few of those Prusa with a trees. We have this little like logs collected. We have a little chopping board for the logs and whatnot. And just a bunch of random snow all over the place. And if you're building this in a snow biome, this is no issue for you because you get snow already from by default, right? But uh, I think this kind of adds to the ambiance. We could also, you know what? Let me just see here. What we could do is bum 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 for example, just place a little thing. Uh oh. Oh no, there's no snow below. You know what? Let's just grab a little snow block here as well. Bam! Place it here like that and take this up like a little torch pillar or whatnot. Just to have a little little lighting. We can maybe do even one here on the wall somehow. Is that gonna melt anything? I don't know, that looks kind of like a little semi derp you know what? If it melts, it melts, but hopefully it won't melt anything. There we go! So that is the outside, right? a little chipping board. You can add so much more uh, scenery to this, but I think this is just enough. On the inside, we have this little couch, this little bed, a TV, a TV table, a furnace, some chests, a little hanging clothes thingy, a little shelf unit, and a crafting table. Very simple, but yet again, Kind of practical, and it's really simple to build as well. Despite the course, though, that's kind of maybe like tricky and whatnot. But everybody, thank you so so much for watching. If you did enjoy this, don't forget hit the like button. It means the world to me, and it kind of just shows me you guys want to see more of this type of stuff. Stay awesome, and I'm gonna see you in the next one. Also, thank you so much, Hanuls, uh, to Hanuls for this amazing design. Take care and bye. Better, 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 better